Hey, Phone Sites users. So I've seen in the past a few people ask about the ability to upload files uh, by your prospects, your leads, after they have submitted their contact information uh, through your funnel. So there are certainly some options out there in the marketplace, such as what you're looking at right now called Upload Express. Um, I have actually never used Upload Express, so I can't really vouch for how effective this is, uh, it, whether it's secure or anything like that. I know that there's got to be some competitors out there that offer something like this too. Um, but uh, I'm sure you could do a quick Google search using search terms such as like, uh, how can I have someone else upload a file to my landing page or something like that, right? Um, so play around with that. I'm sure you can find something. Uh, I've got a couple other solutions, one of which has already been mentioned in the group in the past. Um, we're going to jump into that solution really quickly first. And that is using either Google Drive or Dropbox. Um, now, that's certainly a possibility. Uh, I do have a big caveat with that, big concern with that. Um, but I can show you really quickly how you can set this up for Drive. Dropbox should be pretty similar. I'm not going to show you how to use that, though. Um, for Drive, you would just create a folder in Drive, and you got to open up sharing privileges for that. So that's only going to open up sharing privileges for just the, the folder. It won't open it up for your entire Drive folder. So be very careful about this. That way you don't open up sharing for everything in Drive, but just one folder, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and go to my folder that I just created for this purpose of this video. And I'm gonna go to Share. And I'm gonna go to Advanced. And I'm going to change uh, who has access to be um, now set to anyone with a link. And then um, I'm going to set this to not view only, but to organize, add, and edit. If it was view only, they could only open up my file and download it, right? They couldn't actually upload the file. I want them to be able to upload it. But when I change this to organize, add, and edit, here is my major concern that I mentioned before. Uh, now, if I set it to you can organize, add, and edit, um, any subsequent persons that come in and upload a file after this person, for example, they could come in and read uh, whatever this person has and they can delete the file. They can replace it or whatever. They could actually create their own version and replace it with a modified version. So we don't want any of this malicious behavior going on, right? So you'll want to pay attention to the, the next option they have after this. But if you're okay with this, if you're not collecting like contact information, SSNs, health records or anything like that, then uh, you should be okay with using something as simple as Drive or Dropbox for collecting uh, files. And even if you do use this option, um, I would still suggest that you put in some automation in place through Zapier or through Integromat or, or something else where that file, once uploaded here in your shared folder, uh, it's duplicated elsewhere. So you could set up a, another folder out in Drive that only you have access to or maybe your team has access to. But once the file is uploaded oh. here, uh, it's replicated. It's copied over into that other folder. Uh, that way, if someone destroys this folder, uh, this file, you still have the other copy that was automatically saved in the, the other folder. So, okay, so I've turned on my sharing for this folder here. And I've selected prevent editors from changing access and adding new people. So then I'm going to go ahead and copy my link here. So it's already highlighted for me. I'm just going to hit control C on my keyboard and then um, select done and then hop on over to phone sites and then drop in this link under, uh, I'm in my, in my account. Uh, I'm on a thank you page that I created just for this video. Uh, I went to settings and then I, Scroll down the page to options for your users under redirect. Uh, I've selected external URL, and then I'm going to put in this URL to Google Drive. And now I'm going to select save. So now what this is telling phone sites is that now that I have this set up, um, whenever someone clicks through this button over here, they're going to go to this external URL, which is Google Drive. So let's go ahead and test that out. So I'm going to go ahead and, and select view here. And I'm going to select Upload Resume. And this should take me back to Google Drive. And so now if I want to, then I can upload a file, right? OK. So I don't really like this option, again, because of the security concerns of someone uh, destroying the information, uh, replacing it, uh, reading someone else's information. So 
what I'm going to suggest to you next um, is going to require you to get used to using something called ManyChat. And it's really not that hard to get to use, uh, get, get used to using, and especially for this purpose, um, for uploading files, because you don't really need to create a full-blown chatbot for this. Now, what ManyChat is, it is third-party software that it is used in conjunction with Facebook Messenger uh, for your business page, typically for creating chatbots. But we're just going to create a very, very simple flow here. Um, basically, uh, uh, it's just requesting an uploaded file. And that's it. And then we're going to connect it to, to phone sites. So what I'm going to do is I already have my Facebook business page, which this is just a fake page that I'm just using for this video. I already have it associated with my mini chat account. Um, I'm going to hop on over to what's called growth tools and growth tools allows me to connect my mini chat powered messenger chat bot to other tools. So for example, like, uh, to a landing page. Uh, and that's what we're going to do here. So I'm going to go ahead and select new growth tool. Um, I'm going to disregard these options up here. I'm going to select messenger ref URL. And basically what this is going to do is it's going to create a, a URL that I can use back over here in phone sites, just like what we had right here. So in mini chat, I'm going to select messenger ref URL. And I'm just going to rename this. So the example that I'm using for phone sites here for this, this demo is it's like a, a resume, um, that's like a, a job application funnel, right? In terms of um, trying to get some leads for a, a position that I might be hiring for, right? So I'm going to uh, rename this. Let's just call this uh, resume landing page. And now I'm going to um, I'm going to select next here, and I'm going to go ahead and select save because it's telling me to please save my widget. And it's always make, good to make sure that you have this turned on to active. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and change this URL to something a little bit more meaningful here. So I'm just going to call this resume. Select save. And so now I could copy this URL. And I could put this over into phone sites now. Now I'm not done with ManyChat though. I still need ManyChat to prompt my lead to submit their application, right? So I'm going to go back and I'm going to select into opt-in message and then go to edit. And uh, I'm just going to remove, delete this because I'm not going to actually have them. Uh, uh, let's see here. Add in my card here. Send message move my starting steps there. I don't want them to be welcomed because they're not subscribing here. They're just going to be, and I guess I could have just gone into that message there and edited it, but I'm going the, the long way about this. But anyways, I'm going to um, go in here and edit this card here. So I'm going to click into uh, this little box right here. And this opens up this little pane here that I can edit. So I'm going to say thank you for Showing interest in the position to be considered. Please update. Please update. Please upload your resume. Now, I need to basically speak to them on like a second or third grade level here and kind of illustrate how they can upload their file, right? Because not everyone knows that you can upload a file through Facebook Messenger. So what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to say navigate, no, select the icon, or that looks like a picture. Good. There we go. Okay. So the next step is I'm going to actually I'm going to help them out a little bit here. I'm not only going to tell them to select the icon below. 
um, which they'll be able to see in Messenger. You can't really see it here, obviously, in Minichat. But I'm going to um, make it easier for them. I'm going to find uh, this icon and then create a picture and then show it to them in Minichat. So let's go do that. Let's hop on over to uh, Messenger. And I'm going to take a screenshot of this really quickly of these options that they have in Messenger. And then I'm going to edit this really quickly. So let's see here. I'm going to make a, a box around. Okay, perfect. And yeah, that's good enough. Select done. And then I'm going to hop back over to ManyChat and add in the image card here. And then click into image card and then select my screenshot there and then select open. And can I, let's see, I probably actually need to, let's go to look a little funky. Let's go back to mini chat or to messenger really quickly. Let's take a better screenshot of this. Okay. Try this again. And let's give them a little text prompt here too, right? Let's see. Click. Uh, here. Should I say shown here? Because then they might actually click into that this picture that I'm putting into mini chat, and that might be confusing. Example, let's just say example of your Okay, and let's put in an arrow. Okay, perfect. Now let's see if this works, if this is the right size for this card here. Okay, much better. All right, awesome. Select publish. Okay, so we have got our growth tool here tied. I can rename this too. This is going to be resume planning page flow. Okay, so this is the flow that we just created here, prompting them to upload their file. And let's, let's edit this. To be considered, please upload. Let's see here. Edit flow. to upload. One, two. Locate your file, your resume on your computer. All right, that was a really long text card. Okay, so that should be good. We've got, let's just go back to growth tools so I can show you really quickly. We've got our resume landing page, right? And our, um, our flow is our resume landing page flow that we just edited. And we set up our ref URL, which we copied, right? And we put that over here in phone sites and we save this. And this is all active 
so we should be good to go. So let's test this out now. I'm going to open up my thank you page here. Select Upload Resume. And I'm redirected here to Messenger. And so here's our message. There's our image. And so there's our picture. So now I can upload my resume, right? So let's find my resume. There we go. So now you have it. Now you can have your lead upload pictures, PDFs, Word docs, whatever it is. Um, I'm sure that there's some sort of a size limitation in place. I don't know what the size limitation is in terms of what you can upload into Messenger. I know that I have sent videos before, so I want to say um, probably at least 25 megabytes, which I'm sure the videos I sent were greater than 25 megabytes. But this should serve your purpose for having leads upload files somewhat securely. I say somewhat securely just because Facebook is spying on you.